day two. We're about to call uh, motivated sellers that are actually already looking into creative deals um, through like a text message campaign that my buddy and I have just blasted. And now we're just getting bombarded by responses of people that are actually motivated to go ahead and work with us through this. So I'm going to actually just start calling them one by one and seeing how this goes. Seeing if I could pull some hot sizzling leads out of this. Um, if so, I add them to my CRM, start following up with them, connecting with these people, seeing what they're really in need of. Um, what are their bunnies? Find that, start scorching the earth like Pace Morby does. And then uh, we go from there. So I have two deals in the pipeline right now that I'm working on currently. Just trying to grow that pipeline bigger and bigger and bigger and just keep uh, the next one coming, you know? You can't ever rely on uh, any of them that you really have already because until they close, you don't really have anything. So you just gotta keep working on the next lead. So let's begin. All right, so this guy, this guy actually wants 50% down payment. Just wanna see what he's actually even about, he or she. Let's give it a go. Hey, good afternoon. Hi. Yeah, um, I'm actually interested in your property I'm looking at on uh, on Zillow that you have listed. The uh -huh. one on Geronimo, uh, Geronimo Drive. Yes. Yeah, so um, is there anything that I don't see from the pictures on here? Maybe like some leaks, mold, something like that? No, uh-uh. No, the house is moving ready. Awesome, gotcha. So it was just like a... Just your personal home, you guys are looking to get out of town or something? Get a new property yeah, we, or? We, we've lived here for, for 10 years. Oh wow, nice. Gotcha. So right now it's it's vacant, right? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I live there three days a month, so uh, uh, until we get it sold. So uh, uh, we've already uh, bought another place and I'm in between. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, so um, I had my partner actually reach out to you guys and see if you guys were maybe open to seller finance. Um, we received a text message saying like you would be open to something like 50% uh, down. Um, could you tell me a little bit about that? I mean, what makes you uh, get ready for seller finance if we were to come up to that asking price that you had listed before the price cut? Well, it was just an option that somebody brought up to me, uh, your partner or employee whatever and mm -hmm. uh you know certainly it was just in a text and yeah and i just wrote half down you know they said what did you need down and i said half but really that's about all i thought about so as far as uh, you know being interested in it sure i'm intrigued but i don't know what the rest of the details would be so we'd have to talk about that yeah yeah sure so i'm not sure if i'm going to be a good fit for you or not however i'll still love to see if i can help you out maybe create a win-win on both sides. So um, yeah, we tried to uh, give the seller, that's not really too in a hurry of getting the money for the home, as long as they're able to get that full asking price and maybe uh, maybe some terms to benefit both sides. So a little bit about myself, um, I'm an investor and I'm looking to add more and more properties to my portfolio. So I'm looking to maybe rent out for let's say the next 10 to 20 years at the minimum. So I'm completely fine with even having to go underwater on the property, say just a tad bit for maybe the next few years, as long as I'm cash flowing heavily, uh, at least let's say anywhere from three to 500 bucks a month after all expenses. So if that is something that you're open to me making a profit on the monthly end, I would love to turn you into a bank, upgrade you to uh, you know receiving the cash flow, just like a bank would and uh, also possibly some interest or maybe let's say just a high uh, high purchase price. Um, you know, whatever is uh, more favorable to you. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I did some research on my end and when you throw in taxes and insurance and uh, principal and interest of about 8%, you know, that house is gonna be about $3,000 with half down. So I don't know how anybody's gonna pay that and you make a profit on the other end. So what we do is we actually amortize the uh, you know, the terms over, let's say, um, 30 to 40 years, 
And then if the seller is interested in a balloon or if you uh, needed a balloon, we would definitely be open to setting up a balloon payment where let's say in the next 10 to 12 years, I would be able to refinance the property and, and get you paid out completely at that time. But um, you know, until that time, I would love to make some cash flow on my end and that's why we amortize the length over let's say a 30 to 40 year term. However, we would still you know, have that balloon payment in, in place. Well, I don't plan on living another 40 years, so I don't know how, that, how that's gonna work. No, no, that's where the balloon payment would come in. So our payments would be pretty low. However, at the end of the balloon payment, we'd be able to cash it completely out. Have you, are you uh, aware of balloon payments or? Yeah, yeah, I know what they are. And, yeah, uh, I mean, let's say if we were to go this route, what kind of like length would you be comfortable with? Not a not a thirty or forty because uh, I'm sixty two years old and uh, I don't uh, I don't see the the reason in having something that's going to extend my you know beyond my life expectancy. So uh, and plus the home has only been on the market for three weeks, maybe around three weeks, and uh, it's probably still too early to be talking about something like this. I mean, I'd rather just get the house sold and be done with it. Yeah. And uh, maybe, maybe after it's been on the market for three or four months, I might be interested in something like this, but right now, no. Sure, sure, hey, no worries. Um, I completely understand where you're coming from as well. So uh, not trying to force anything down your throat, just planting a seed, just so you have an idea of what you know you have available at your hand as well and uh, I appreciate that I yeah do. of course and let's say if I were to make it like a 10-year a balloon where you just have to worry about getting completely paid out in the 10-year span does that sound more reasonable to you like a little bit more attractive well it would yes okay well let's consider this just uh, just you know have this in the back of your mind I know it's a little too early as of right now However, if you don't get the, um, the asking price, I hope you do, you know, don't get me wrong. But if you right. don't, the, does that, you know, maybe like me reaching out to you, let's say within a month or a month and a half, and then uh, just, or even just keeping in touch with you, does that sound uh, okay? Yeah, it sounds fine. I'd appreciate that too, sure would. Okay, awesome. And um, as far as the down payment goes, I, would, I wouldn't be able to do that half half down is like what kind of uh so like what kind of um down payment would you even consider like is there like a certain amount that you needed to get out of the property or something like that no it's not so much as to get out of the property it's just that uh uh i'm retired and i want to go ahead and move on with the next part of my life so i need at least half down i wouldn't be able to to, to waver on that at all okay gotcha yeah, so it's a, it's good to know that as well. Um, yeah, I mean, sit on this thought, see um, see what you get offered, and uh, yeah, I look forward to speaking to you in uh, in a little bit, and we'll see how uh, how things go. What was your first name again? My name is Sam. Sam, okay. Yeah, so I believe Nick reached out to you through text. So yeah, um, let me just uh, keep in touch with you, and then uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Wonderful. Thanks, awesome. I appreciate it. What was your name, sir? James. James, it's a pleasure. You have a great day. You too, Sam. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. James. All right. On to the next. This next one is super hot. Okay. This guy has two different properties. Completely agreed to 10% down. However, this last guy, James, I'm going to just follow up with him in, uh, in let's say a month and let's see if he's even reasonable to come down because 50%, no way, Jose, I'm nowhere near 50% down. Not gonna be able to do that. However, it's always good to keep in touch and follow up and uh, create a you know relationship between him and I so that way we could just build that trust and develop. I can actually maybe trigger and, and break his walls down and um, see exactly why he even needs that 50% down. Get, I get it that he needs to move on to the next stage of his, uh, to his life, but what exactly is it? Is he looking to just keep a, a nice like, you know, threshold, like a safety backup cushion? Um, 
Is there a certain amount of money that he would need where he's comfortable with a low down payment? These are things I don't know yet because he has a wall set up. And once I actually follow up with him enough times, that wall actually comes down. I become a friend. And he will actually start breaking down and just start talking to me like a normal human being. So let's go ahead with this one. Okay, so this guy, he wants to sell this one pretty quickly. Let's see how things go. We already discussed 10% down on both properties of this. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Uh, is this Bill? Uh huh. Gotcha. My name is Sam. Uh, I'm actually calling about your property on Chimney Rock. Okay, how can I help you with it? Yeah, um, so I'm taking a look at it on Zillow. Uh, okay. Is there anything that I don't see from the pictures? Like any leaks, damages, anything like that? No, the house is in really good shape. The roof is uh, like new, uh -huh. uh, the central heat and air is like new. Uh, it's pretty. It's a really good property. It's on a half acre. I guess. I guess it's on Zillow. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, didn't see too many pictures of it. That's why I wanted to just clarify everything with you. Um, maybe there's yeah. something that uh, there's not a picture of, or you know what I mean. I don't know. How many do we have on there? Thought we had a bunch. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe like ten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're we're just kind of busy people. Are you calling to make a cash offer or what? No, I wanted to actually uh, see what the situation on the home was looking like. My partner actually um, reached out to you through text. He said that uh, you were open to maybe seller finance on the property. He said you had a different one as well. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. So what what are you looking for exactly? What kind of deal? Yeah. Um, so let's say I'm a. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm actually an investor and looking to add more, you know, rentals to my portfolio. I'm looking to actually um, rent these out for let's say the next decade to two decades. So I don't mind paying full price or even you know having some wiggle room as far as the price goes. If you are open to terms on my end, because looking to cash flow anywhere between. I would say three to five hundred bucks a month on the properties. If you can help me on that end, um, I'd love to work out something where it's a win-win scenario on both ends. You know. Yeah. Okay. I, I see what you're saying. How much would you be willing to put down on? So okay. he told me. Huh? Yeah. So he told me that you were open to uh, wanting ten percent down on both properties. Uh, right now, the only one that I could do that is on Sir Arthur. We're not ready to pull the trigger on it because we're remodeling the one on rhinestone and we're going to move into it okay uh, uh, and it's paid for but the one on uh chimney rock's not paid for what's the deal with chimney rock uh well i got married yeah oh, man i had a customer i'm gonna have to go hey uh, no worries married, and she moved in with me and then we bought a house for us so we have three houses right now. Okay. But hey, let, let me, she's real sweet, real, real sweet. Uh, hey, this, this is kind of a bad time. Can you call me back uh, so, somewhere else and maybe make, just make me an offer, okay? Yeah, sure. What time can I actually reach out to you? Uh, let's see, tomorrow after church. How's that? Sounds good. All right, I'll speak to you then, sir. All right. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. This guy sounds amazing. He has a, a mortgage in place for one of the properties. I'm gonna actually dig in deeper, find exactly what he has. He does not have too much experience with any creative finance whatsoever. However, he's not in a rush of any kind and 
he's really attached with the price, so we're gonna make something happen. Okay, so. Looks like he has a hard money loan on this because I really can't pull anything up on PropStream. It looks like he's completely paid off, which is not true and it's most likely outdated. So we're going to have to just find out playing around with him. Seems like, okay. We could definitely wrap this property 110% sure. It's just out in the outskirts though. So it's just going to be a tad bit harder to find a, a rat buyer for it. However, it's completely possible. Also, if you guys if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing any wraps, we have we have three deals right now that we're looking for buyers for. So if you guys have any interest, or if you can even help me find a rat buyer, I'd love to give an incentive or a fee. So just please let me know, and uh, and yeah, let's connect.